User interface markups are commonly used as shared contacts during UI development collaboration. In practice, UI designers often use screenshots and sketches to mark up their desired UI behaviors. However, sometimes interfaces can be arbitrarily complex, especially in the later stage of the UI development. This makes it labor-intensive to sketch, and static screenshots are limited in the types of interactive and dynamic behaviors they can express. We introduce Code Capture, a system that allows designers to easily create and clearly describe new UI behavior markups on any existing websites. Let's take a look at this example. Let's say I'm helping design this blog website, where most of it was already built. And now I want to make the website more interactive by adding some responsive behaviors. And I already have some ideas in mind, which looks like this. As the user scrolls the page, the background becomes darker, the title moves closer to the button, and the banner fades in, and so forth. Now, to easily create all these behaviors, and clearly describe them to my clients or colleagues, I'm going to go use Code Capture to create a request. To start Code Capture, I click this Chrome extension icon in my browser. And then, I click Record button to start recording the existing behavior, in my case, the page scrolling. And just like normal screen recording, I demonstrate the existing behavior on my page to use as a base context later. Once finished, I can see three sections in Code Capture Control Panel. Let's focus on the one in the middle, which is the replay of the demonstration I just did. Unlike screen recording, where the content is captured in pixels, Code Capture takes snapshots of the web DOM tree changes during the recording. When constructing the replay, each frame becomes a standalone website. On top of that, Code Capture enables users to directly manipulate each DOM element property, such as their positions, or transparency level, or even sketch new elements and add them to the scene. By making each element editable, Code Capture saves the users all their effort on reconstructing existing interfaces from scratch. Now to add new UI behaviors, users can record their manipulation as a demonstration and then to remix this demonstration to form the final mockup. Now let me show you how to do that. The first effect I want to add is to dim the background as the page scrolls down. To mock up this behavior, I first click to select the background element and click the record element behavior button. By changing the transparency level, Code Capture records the element property changes and creates the effect as an animation. By changing the starting and ending time of the animation, I remix the recordings to mock up the desired UI behaviors. After adding more animations, I can replay the recordings all together as if they have been added to my current website. I can reference the visual information in the request description by selecting portions of the text and click either a DOM element or an animation. Other developers can read the request by clicking the hypertext to see the references. Developers can filter the animations by selecting an element of the interest first and then clicking the filter button. The in-betweening of each animation is also presented to help communicate the dynamic element transformation. Code Capture works on many other websites for different kinds of UI behaviors. In this example, we create a request to describe the resizing behavior for the Stack Overflow website. Or for this online game, where many functions have been built in, developers can first demonstrate the existing behavior by playing the game. By adding new sketches or directly manipulating game characters, developers can mock up barriers of UI changes to get others' feedback and support.